This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. We're going to show you a product that will allow you to remotely control your digital SLR. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Dropcam.com and their newest cloud-based web cameras. Visit TPN.TV slash Dropcam. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcasts and the Tech Podcast Network. I'm here at CES 2014 at the Hyper booth with Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Now, tell me about this product or a couple products that we're going to talk about. So, these products allow you to basically turn your DSLR, your Nikon or Canon DSLR, into a wireless DSLR camera. This product in and of itself is essentially a router, plus a battery, plus a USB port, plus some sophisticated software that allows it to communicate with your DSLR camera. Um, this was our first model, it's called the iUSB port camera. You plug it into your DSLR camera, like so, because it has a router, it has its own SSID. So you're going to take your either tablet or your smartphone, you're going to connect the Wi-Fi network to this Wi-Fi network, and then from there you're going to open up our free app. It's avail available on the Android markets as well as the iMarkets, and then you'll be able to see a screen similar to this. The screen allows you to do multiple functions, one of which is being able to control the camera. So at the touch of a screen on either your tablet or your smartphone, you can adjust the autofocus, you can change the focus, you can move and adjust the HDR, the HDR, the white balance, the ISO, you can switch between video and photo, and then you can also preview photos. So while you're taking the pictures or the video, you'll be able to see what's on the screen. This is a great solution for wedding photographers, event photographers, anybody that wants to be able to preview the images or remotely control the camera. What kind of cameras does this work with? Um, pretty much all of the DSLRs on the Nikon and the Canon range with the exception of a few of the very um, initial models that were that basically went digital. In terms of some tech detail, it's about a five megabyte per second transfer rate. Um, aside from that, you can have up to 12 users connect to this at any given time. We do have two models. This is the iUSB port camera, as I initially mentioned. And then we have a new model called the IS iUSB port camera 2. The only difference being that the first model is mounted horizontally. It does not have to stay in the hot shoe. And the second model can be mounted um, however you want, but primarily vertically. And then this one has two USB ports. This one only has one. Aside from being able to be used with your digital SLR, you can also connect any storage USB device to this. And that storage device is going to turn into a wireless storage device. So you and your 12 friends can all be sharing videos, images, photos with each other from this um, SSID. You can connect this to an existing network which is going to expand the range, but as it sits, you have about a 300 foot radius, about 100 feet if you do have any walls in place. Great, so this really opens up a whole new world of being able to do selfies, if we want to yeah. use that term, <laughs> but high quality video. I do this in my own studio. I set up the camera somewhere on a tripod, then I have to go back to my position, run the video camera, go back, check the focus. It's a lot of back and forth, and something is always messed up that I always have to go back and forth. But this, you're saying I could use what kind of mobile devices to control this? It's any of the Android or the iDevices, tablets and cell phones. And then you can also connect this to your computer. Um, it works with Lightroom very easily. You can import all the photos as, as you take them. Very nice. So it's, it's tethered, wireless tethered photography and videography too. So it's giving me all of those new features, the autofocus. The focus is the biggest thing. I think you'll really benefit from this, being able to refocus from this and adjust the focus on a, on a camera that has the focus engine on it. So we'll be right back to talk about pricing and availability on these items. Let me tell you about Dropcam. Dropcam makes this amazing camera that's very simple to use. You simply set it up, which is super easy. I say simply because it is simple to do. You set it up and you can be live streaming either a public or a private stream. This works great for family events, for security, for monitoring your children or your pets while you're gone. You can access the stream through a computer, through a mobile device like an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet. It is really easy and affordable for you. 
check out tpn.tv slash dropcam for more information and to order your own. That's tpn.tv slash dropcam and you'll discover how easy it is to set up and get up to 30 days of recording. tpn.tv slash dropcam. All right, Jennifer, the iUSB port camera and iUSB port camera 2 look awesome. What are the prices? So the first model, the iUSB port camera is available. It's $199 retail. The iUSB port camera 2 is available for $299 and you can find them all on our website, hypershop.com or Amazon and they're also carried at B&H Photo along with a series of other specialty photo shops. Great, thank you very much. And where can people go, again, for more information on these products? www.hypershop.com. Great, thank you very much, Jennifer. So these two products, I think, will be great for your studio. I'd love to get one of these for mine, working with my Canon T4i. I know it will work, and if you have something even fancier than the Canon T4i, any of the Canon lines, the high end especially, these would be amazing on there. So check them out. Check out all of the videos that we're recording with the Tech Podcast Network at tpn.tv and my own videos at theaudacitypodcast.com. And for everyone else in the Tech Podcast Network, I'm Daniel J. Lewis. Thank you for watching.